going on YouTube real quick before this video starts. I'm actually giving away this PlayStation 5 that you see here on screen. Make sure you just go and watch my PlayStation 5 video. It's pretty easy to find on my channel because it's pretty new. Good luck. I'm out. Back to the video. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike, aka Michael Mitchell, back at again with another video. About three months ago, I made a video talking about this card right here, the Apple Card. I was talking about the Apple Card in that video and I was basically saying that the Apple Card has 0% financing essentially forever because you can basically finance almost any Apple device with the Apple Card with zero interest for about two years. Overall, that was a pretty successful video for me with almost 5,000 views to date, but it did leave a lot of people with a lot of questions and I tried to answer all those questions in the comment section down below in that video. But some of those questions I fully didn't understand or couldn't answer because I didn't personally experience it myself and that's why we're actually gonna go through that experience today. So if you guys didn't know, Apple's September event was actually today. They talked about a new Apple Watch, Apple Watch Series 6. I believe they announced a next generation iPad as well as a new iPad Air. So definitely some good products coming out. I'm still waiting on that iPhone event it'll probably be sometime in October so let's just have our fingers crossed for October for some new iPhones because I'm ready to upgrade mine anyway that's not what this video is about today so after watching the event I came to the conclusion that I do want the Apple Watch Series 6 and I want to use the Apple Card financing the zero interest financing to actually get it I want to test it out I haven't tested that out yet so let's try it out with the Apple Watch I'll do a full walkthrough of how the Apple Card 0% financing works and if you have any questions definitely leave those down below but hopefully I can answer them all in this video and even answer the questions that were still left over from the last video about three months ago but regardless let's just get right into it let's buy a new Apple Watch let's go So I got my iPhone ready and I'm all set to actually buy. So let's open up the Apple Store app. Obviously you can go to the Apple website and do the same exact thing I'm gonna do on the Apple Store app, but I have the Apple Store app, so I'm gonna use the Apple Store app. So let's open up the Apple Store app and we should see some new products. And the first product actually on the Apple Store app is the product I'm gonna buy, which is the Apple Watch Series 6. So I'm gonna click on buy or basically click on the product and I do want it, I'm gonna buy it. It's pretty simple. That's kind of how things work when you wanna actually buy it. Scroll down, I'm actually gonna filter it because I already did all this at work, so I didn't buy it yet, but I filtered to figure out which one I actually wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and filter, and I want the aluminum case with the silver finish and the new loop that they have. It's actually called the braided solo loop, so I want the new braided solo loop as well. Click done on that, and this is what I got right here. I don't really like that green loop, so I'm probably gonna change that to black, and I'm also, so let me change that to black. And I'm also going to up the size because I like the bigger one personally, as well as I do I want cellular? I don't think I want cellular. I'm going to keep that odd there. I don't want to pay that extra. I always actually have my iPhone with me when I'm carrying my Apple Watch anyway, so I don't really need the cellular. It is a cool feature to have if you want cellular. That's cool, but we're not really here for that. Either way, GPS, do that. And I actually already did print out their little size guide. If you guys don't know what the size guide is, it basically tells you what size Apple Watch wristband you need to get because basically that new band doesn't have a strap on it. I need to know the exact size of my wrist. I already printed it out and measured my wrist and everything. So it is a size six. So let's go ahead and click on size six, save the size, and we're gonna scroll down. Do I want Apple Care? I do not. I usually don't buy Apple Care for any of my products. Actually, I try to take pretty good care of my, pretty good care of my stuff. But you know, I don't really need any Apple Care. It's okay, it's fine. Anyway, we're gonna add that to the bag and that'll basically be it. I don't need any more bands or anything like that. So we're gonna hit continue, scroll down. You can see the total is 507.74 or you can pay monthly, which is the Apple Card 0% financing for $19.95 a month, which is the option I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and do that. Basically, when you get here, you can either pay for it in full or pay for that monthly. I'm gonna click on checkout and I can see it actually says 28.74 is due today which includes applicable full price items, shipping, and taxes. So let's click on that one, that's what I want. And let's see, um, I guess it's just like, oh, okay, just basically telling you how it works and everything like that. Okay, that's pretty much it. And today I'm only gonna pay $28, click check out, and scroll down a little bit. So the Apple Watch actually does launch this Friday, but since I'm making this video kind of late, I already kind of missed that Friday window of getting the watch. So it looks like mine is estimated to be here between October 14th and 21st, which kind of sucks, but it's no big deal. I'm in no rush to actually get the watch, but it is what it is. I'm not really too worried about it. I wanted to make sure I had this video for you guys in case you had any questions. So either way, that's when I get it. If you actually do want to see a review on the watch, let me know, but I don't think you're going to want to see a review on the watch at a month after it comes out. Either way, if you want it, let me know. So delivered, that's what's going to be delivered. This is the deal. 
email me about any recycling options i'm okay on that part and then i'm gonna hit apple pay here you're gonna see all my shipping info which i'll probably have blurred out you'll also see when it actually comes as well as my email and phone number which i'll also probably have blurred out and the total because yeah basically all this stuff is going to be blurred out you're not going to be able to see all that. I'm sorry about that. Maybe we, we, we can we can be close friends one day. Either way, let me go ahead and buy it. Double click the buy, face ID, processing payment, still processing. And I'm purchasing this on the Apple card. You have to buy it with your Apple card to get that zero interest financing. And that's about it. Thank you. Um, I'm probably going to blow this out as well. It just says thank you with my email as well as my order number. I don't know if my order number is pretty important to me or not. So I'm just going to probably keep that blurred out. And that is basically it. So I have the thing ordered. So let's actually go over to the wallet app and see if my wallet app updated with that new charge. And I don't think it did yet, but if it didn't, then we'll just come back when it does. And it actually did update. The wallet app is updated with the new charge. They charged me $28.74. And as you can see, I can click on view monthly installment details to see the monthly installment details. I finance, the whole thing was 507, I paid 28. So I have $479 left to pay. You can pay this however you want to pay this. That's personally up to you. But I believe you have to make at least the minimum payment, which I believe before was $20. My total credit limit is $8,000 for my Apple card. And it looks like they took the entire payment of the entire watch. That is actually one of the main concerns that popped up on my original video. People were wondering why if they only had to pay $28 today, why are they charged the full amount or why are they losing the full amount off of their actual Apple card? And that's simply because that's how much the item is worth. I didn't know that when I originally made that video, but obviously I found out after making that video, I did a little bit of research and commented to those respective comments and everything was all good. But just to be sure and just to let you guys know, I did want to do it myself to find out and that's how it goes. So whatever you buy, you're going to lose the full amount on your credit limit, your overall credit limit, but you're only charged whatever you had to pay that day. In this case, I'm charged $28.74. So that's basically it. If you have any questions about the Apple Card financing program, just let me know down below. I'll be sure to answer them. And as far as the payments go, yes, I can pay $20 every single month for two years and I should have it basically paid off. Or I can pay more than that if I want to. Completely up to me or completely up to you, depending on what you want to finance. But that's kind of it. So like I said before, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit it with a like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button twice. If you want to see more Apple card videos or just credit card videos or just personal finance videos, let me know down in the comment section. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's pretty important. That notification bell is pretty important as well. You can drop those comments down below, like I said before, or you can hit me up on my Instagram or my Twitter to ask me questions there. People ask me questions there all the time and I always answer them. I might not be able to answer you immediately because I got a life too. You just like you have a life. I have a life. I, this isn't the only thing I do. I wish it was because I actually really love doing it. But um, yeah, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter if you have any questions there. Place them there. Cool stuff. Um, I think that's kind of it. So if you enjoyed, like I said before, like this video. I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.